support is active. If that clip didn't explain anything to you, then I don't know what will. Anyways guys, what is going on YouTube? This is Red Horse Noggle, and welcome to my Infinite Warfare beta review. I've been waiting to do this video for a while now. I'm um, sorry if my voice sounds a little bit different. My voice feels weird for some reason. But, anyways guys, this is the video that I've been waiting for. Maybe you've been waiting for. I don't know. But, we all look forward, not, well not all of us, I, I was a little bit looking forward to this day. The fact that Infinite Warfare, the beta, and all that stuff was coming out. I got, I pre-ordered, I got my beta codes, gave some to my friends, gave one away on my channel. But, just, the disappointment level just went so high once I played the first few games. Or maybe the first day. The first day I already hated the game. But I don't know. That's just me. But I'm going to go over everything in this video and talk about everything specific to the weapons, the maps, score streaks, all that stuff. So we'll get into that in just a second. But if you're watching this on Halloween or are you? if you're watching this on Sunday, hopefully all of you guys have a great Halloween. Make sure you stay safe out there. Make sure you, you don't. Uh, I guess con get in contact with any clowns at all. I guess because you know they're running rampant. I guess um, this week because um, it's Halloween, so they they're gonna go rampant. So please be careful for that. So hopefully, nonetheless, all of you have a great Halloween. Speaking of Halloween, th this is a game that actually scares me. But let's go into the first topic: weapons. Weapons are so unbalanced in this game it takes I don't know actually that's time to kill that's a separate topic but I'm just talking about weapons weapons they feel great you know infinity ward is actually pretty good you know with making some pretty good feeling guns um, the NV4 the KPAR um, were per some pretty good guns that I tried out um, the Volk was a really good one um, what else the RPR Evo I think it's called that's basically the ripper from ghost so I guess they were trying to be um, original in quotation marks with the hybrid, um, what do I call it? Hybrid weapons, but hybrid, wep hybrid weapons don't really belong in Call of Duty, in my opinion. I mean, I get it's the futuristic um, timeline, but I just don't like hybrid weapons because it's just, it seems a bit overpowered because, especially with that hybrid sniper and assault rifle that I could just switch on the go, it's kind of like the Maverick from Ghost, except you can switch on the go instead of just them being two separate weapons. But, I just think that's a little bit overpowered. Me personally, I, I it was a good gun as an assault rifle and sniper rifle, so I kind of thought, okay, this is kind of overpowered, so. Hybrid weapons are a little bit eh, like they seem a bit overpowered. So, I don't know. Like the rip the ripper um variant in this game is pretty pretty powerful too, so also I wanna get into the weapon variants. The weapon variants are fucking unbalanced. These these weapon variants are fucking ridiculous. I got a epic variant mauler that gives double damage, infinite range, but slower fire rate. That's basically the Gorgon from Ghost, and I I know everyone hated the Gorgon from Ghost at launch. So Yeah. Double damage. Infinite range sounds pretty good to me, I guess. But they really need to. They re they should have really thought about weapon variants in this game, because they seem game breaking to me. But who knows? They might get better. But in the beta, the weapon variants were pretty annoying, especially with like now you can get the nuke on legendary weapons. I have the nuke variant on the NV4. Well, actually now the beta is over, but I had um the nuke variant or the legendary variant on my NV4 
and it was it was pretty decent too it was pretty decent and as I said for the mauler um, I actually played with the, the epic variant and I actually went like 20 something and 8 so I got some pretty good I got pretty good game that game so yeah these we weapon variants seems pretty unbalanced I really don't think weapon variants belong in Call of Duty I think Call of Duty just, just, should just focus on cosmetic but we all know how Activision it is they need they need a reason to make you spend money on COD points which are returning so I gotta give a round for applause for Activision because they don't know they, they're basically that COD points are basically you know extra money for Activision especially since Infinite Warfare will probably fail so next topic specialist specialists are they're okay in this game um, to, in my opinion the specialists aren't really that great I mean the only two specialists I actually enjoyed using were the claw and the synaptic um, but the, the the two dual wield machine guns and and the dog and the tiger whatever you want to call it those are actually those are three um, those are the only three specialists I actually really enjoyed using and all I tried all the other specialists all the other specialists aren't really that great so I don't want it to be like where every game there's always like a lot of people using either warfighter or synaptic so I really don't want that but the specialists overall they're pretty powerful I'm not gonna lie they're pretty powerful they seem a little bit unbalanced because some are more powerful than others um that perk where it's basically support your the perk on the uh, warfighter which basically turns your um your squ uh, score streaks into support streaks so um, that's pretty balanced because I tried out I tried getting the Thor with the s support on um, perk um, so uh, it took pretty long it had I needed to get like 6,000 points so I guess if you're gonna use support for high high kill streaks try not to cuz they're gonna take you a while and I never got them so yeah um, what else oh yeah you can also get perks on your specialist so you can get like ping, it, like ping is from ghost. Um, what else? Like the support streak I talked about. Um, faster sprint time after you kill someone. So the, the, the specialists are like pretty overpowered almost, because you can like equip perks, you can equip the specialist. It's just more complicated than Black Ops 3 than simply choosing just one specialist and that's it. So yeah, specialists overall, I think they're a little bit overpowered. Because um, I kept getting killed by a lot of claws, synaptics, reapers, that stuff. Because they were pretty annoying. But in my opinion, I, I like the Black Ops 3 specials a little bit better. Because they, they weren't as chaotic as in this game. Because this game is a fucking fuckfest. But who knows? That's just my opinion. But overall, I think the specialists are a little bit overpowered. I mean, they're good. But some are just more too, too more pow or more powerful than others. So... Because Warfighter and Synaptic are the only two that are like really useful. So, yeah, specialists are a little bit overpowered. Gameplay. Next topic. Um, the beta, the first day didn't even work. I mean, the first day of the beta. Well, I was playing on PlayStation 4, so I had two weekends and an extra day on the first weekend. One of the worst connections I've ever seen in a Call of Duty game. I was lagging all over the place when my internet is actually not even that bad. It's Verizon internet, for God's sake. But we're still using peer-to-peer -peer connection, and that's just ridiculous in my opinion. We need dedicated servers already, because I see people lagging all over the place. I didn't actually, when I played the Black Ops 3 beta, I didn't get that much lag. I really didn't. I really didn't. But I'm just trying to say that Infinity War always bullshits us. Actually, they're the ones who started dedicated servers, but they still have the implemented dedicated, excuse, excuse me, dedicated servers, but it's just, I can't, I can't with these, with the gameplay. I mean, the gameplay is it's very, it's just the time to kill and all that stuff, it's just ridiculous. Time to kill is ridiculous, because you die incredibly fast, but it takes a long time to kill someone. Which doesn't really add up if you ask me. I heard they're fixing. I heard they're fixing the time to kill, but I really don't believe that. Because whenever they say, whenever Infinity War said they fix. Actually, I'm gonna tell you a story. I remember when I played Ghost on PS3, and then I heard a patch update was coming out saying 
that they're gonna fix the spawns. I was like, okay, because the spawns were pretty broken. Next thing you know, patch update comes out, spawns are still broken. Then the spawns are still broken on Ghost to this day. So it's pretty ridiculous. And also the spawns on on Infinite Warfare are pretty ridiculous if you ask me too. So if Infinity War is gonna say they're gonna fix something, I I wouldn't really trust them if you ask me. But yeah. Gameplay, very solid. I mean it feels like more of an infinite uh, not infinite warfare um infinity war game but doesn't really feel that much call of duty but if if i were to describe this game i would actually say it's is the movement of it feels like it's, it's the gameplay of advanced warfare with mixed up with black ops 3 um movement um and then you get infinite warfare that's basically what it is infinite warfare is just a copy and paste and i do not want to hear people in the comment section saying Oh, but this is a three-year game. You could... It's a three-year game. You know, they had a lot of time. Bullshit. This did not take three years. They literally ripped off the movement system from Black Ops 3. At least Black Ops 3 was original and made their own movement system and not just copy. Sledgehammer with the double jump in the air and dashing and dashing back and forward and stuff. At least Shrek was original with their movement. Well, I mean, it wasn't this... I mean, it wasn't original, original, but... Uh, at least they were cur uh, cur courteous enough to um to make their own movement system. No, Infinity War just literally rips it off Treyarch and just like, oh, we're just gonna do this because we don't give a fuck and we're lazy as fuck. So, and also, I wonder if they copy Treyarch when it comes to the snipers because the snipers are fucking overpowered to the max when I say overpowered. I mean, it might be on a top, another level of overpowered, I don't know, but the snipers are just fucking ridiculous. Every time I was getting killed, sniper. Like, I didn't even bother to look at the kill cams. Some of the kill cams, people didn't even hit me. So, like, like, the hit detection wasn't even working. Hit detection's shit in this game, too. Don't even tell me. Oh, it's an Infinity War game, the hit detection's good. No, this hit detection's shit. Because I was hitting people, but I did not get hit markers, so what the fuck. But... <coughs> As I said about the snipers, they're fucking overpowered. Longbows overpowered, Widowmaker's overpowered. Well, at least a Widowmaker, you get hit markers, but the Widowmaker, you just shoot very fast, so it feels like you're dying fast, so. Um, longbows fast. EBRs, people really don't use the EBR, so. Longbows probably the way to go if you're a sniper. But the longbow is fucking overpowered. All the snipers overpowered. I don't even know what Infinity War was thinking when it came to the snipers. And they also said, Oh, we're not gonna have quick scope in this game. You use the same fucking line from Ghost. You're fucking ridiculous, Infinity War. You're an embarrassment when it comes to Call of Duty. Lying to our fans. Our loyal fans, too. Who want a good Call of Duty game. But instead, you give us a pile of shit. That's what you're doing. And you just don't give a fuck. So. Enough of that. Let's just move on to another subject. And actually, this subject is a little subject of my own. I like to call it fun. Fun. You know, F is for friends who do something heavy. Yeah, yeah, that, that sort of stuff. Did I have fun with this game is the question. Did I actually enjoy some aspects of the game? I enjoyed some aspects. Not all of them, but I enjoyed some. I liked, um... I liked the weapons. The weapons felt really good and stuff. But it's just... You know, the fact that you get so many hit markers, but you die so fast, it's just, it doesn't really add up, in my opinion, and it just doesn't make sense. The connections are horrible and stuff. Um, people are jumping all around the place, sliding all around the place, and it's just, it's, there's just so many snipers and stuff. I actually didn't see that many snipers in Black Ops 3. I only got sniped a few times in Black Ops 3. And here, I, sli I got sniped more times than I probably got sniped in Black Ops 2. I don't know. And it's just a fucking beta. I don't know. Despite all of that, did I have fun with the game? With my friends? Yeah. You know, I grouped up with my friends. We all tried to find a lobby, but we we're all getting fucking tired because we couldn't find a game and stuff. But when we played, we had fun. You know, I can have. Oh, I. It, no matter how bad a game is, you can always have fun with friends. That's the thing. But when I was playing solo, fucking dreadful. It was fucking dreadful. I could not play this game. I remember one of the days of the beta. I tried playing again. I said, okay, let me try to give this game another chance. I did not like it the first time. First game, first two games that I played, I quit. I quit! Because the game's fucking ridiculous. The game is full of bullshit. 
like the specialists, the snipers, the gunplay, the it's just it everything is broken. It just doesn't feel smooth. I, I I'm not saying I'm not saying this is a three year game. I am not saying this is a three year game. This is not a three year game. So I don't think this game is ready for, for release, and I do not even know why they even thought about doing a beta three three to two weeks before release. Three to two weeks before release. That is not a beta. That is more of a demo. Three weeks before a game. That's not a beta. Demo. Uh, when when a developer decides, or when a developers decide, oh, let's just give people a, t a test of what or a taste of what the game is. They give a demo toward when they're close to release. This is a demo. A beta happens month months in advance. Black Ops 3 happened in August. At least they had time. To fix the game, Infinity Ward. They only had time to fix weapons and maybe connections. I don't know, but my my only my only like the only thing that really pissed me off was when Infinite Warfare was announced gold right before the beta. So basically, if the game is announced gold, that means they're done with the game. So basically, if they're done with the game, that means this is the final build. This is the final build. Whatever you saw on Infinite Warfare, that is going to the final game. Nothing, not much is going to change. Maybe nerfs and stuff, but not much is going to change. The connections probably will not change. Nothing is probably going to change because they don't have time. And that is the issue. They do not have time. They should have done this months in advance. They should have done this when they announced the game. They should have done this in July or August or around the same time frame as Black Ops 3. Oh. This game is shit. But if you want more proof the game is shit, I have a live stream that I did. Play I play a little bit with JoJo plays um 98. If you want, go check him out on YouTube. Subscribe to him, good friend of mine. But all I'm saying is this is not a complete game. This is not a complete game. This is not a good game. I recommend not buying this game. So what what I, am I gonna buy Infinite Warfare is the question. Am I gonna get the Legacy Edition? Am I gonna get COD 4 Remaster? Am I gonna get everything else? No. I'm not buying the game this year. You're not getting any Infinite Warfare content. In, in fact, this is the only Infinite Warfare content you're gonna get. Because I do not like this game. I'm, I'm not going to put any... I'm not going to put this game on my channel. Because it does not deserve it. I do not enjoy the game. I'm not having fun with the game. I'm not enjoying much of the game. But anyways, guys. Hopefully you enjoy the vid. Um... Please do not buy this game because this game is fucking horse shit. And if you're the one, if you, if you actually like this game, rethink your life, please. Because I, I, I'm probably playing a different game than you guys. But I don't know. I, that's just me. Hopefully you enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like on the video. Comment down below your thoughts on the Infinite Warfare beta. Um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you guys later. This is Red Horse Knuckle. Peace out, guys.